Good morning. I wrap Stan and here we are with your morning flash update. And this update is for Wednesday, the 20th of December, 2023, 8, 10 a.m. Central Time. It's hard to believe here we are four or five days away from Christmas. Uh, then we come back and we're into the new year right away and back to trading. Volume is exceptionally light. Now, got to warn you, I, I was looking today at coffee, for example, down 10 cents like that. No real news. I mean, a little bit that Europe's not going to be able to buy coffee out of certain African countries uh, after the first of the year. And, but this is a law that's been there uh, because of climate controls. And if these countries don't meet certain standards, what happens? But you've got to be careful. Another unusual event. I, I, I find it hard to believe. I'm almost breathless that we're down in the stock market at this hour. We're normally flat to higher, or some of these are higher. Here's something that you don't know. The 10-year note, where did you end off 2022 going into this year? Around 3.88% on the 10-year. Where do you think you're at this morning? 3.88%. With all the craziness, I just heard this statistic. It's not three minutes old. I was listening on Bloomberg to it. And I went, whoa, you've gone absolutely nowhere. All the talk, we're going to 6%, that's out the window. We are back completely to unchanged from where you started the year and ending that way, at least in the last, uh, what, in the last 11 days of the year. Wow, that's pretty amazing. All right, dollar index, I'm looking for a little bit of a bounce here against some of the currencies. Uh, the Brits having a problem. If you took a look and you saw how their housing numbers look, if you look at inflation, it fell way more than the market was anticipating. So. The idea there, and it's probably down a bit off the idea in, in the British pound, that uh, the bank was going to stay higher for longer, I think that's leaving the, the, the parade route. In fact, I, I think that's what we have to look at as a theme for 2024. As we go in, who's going to be cutting, when are they cutting, how many cuts are they going to give you? That is going to be the theme of the year. It's not who's going to stay higher for longer. It's a complete flip-flop on everything and how deep the break. In the grain markets, uh, I don't expect much action right now. It appears to me that we've sort of gone into the Yawnsville time, as I call it. And in the energy market, it is still all this talk about the Red Sea. And what is the coalition going to do? Well, the coalition has got to use its muscle and show Yemen that they cannot hold up world trade. And if they think they can, they got to deal with it. The Biden administration is always petrified about using the weapons that we all pay for. It's time to use them if Yemen, via the Houthis, don't want to respond and stop this nonsense of terrorism on the open seas against everybody. Can't be allowed. So it's time, Joe. I know our military is up to the fight. There is no question about it, all right? Who isn't up to it? You. What are you going to do about it? The world's looking for leadership. Offer it in this situation. Uh, insurance rates have gone crazy. Even Greece is saying they don't want to send anything through the area. Uh, when you look at the mortgage market index, I was surprised. All the numbers are lower. And here we are with mortgages that have come down over a full percentage point, And none of that's happening. Could it be we're at the end of the year and people are just going, I'll deal with this next year. I'm not going to deal with it right now. Probably. The conference board uh, index, uh, confidence index comes out this morning. They're looking for an improvement, a 104.5 versus 102. Existing home sales, that'll be interesting. They're looking for them to have declined from the prior month. We'll see if that's the case. There's a lot of pent up demand. We have energy stockpiles coming out at 9.30 a.m. today. So that's pretty much the kind of day you have it. The game right now is to stay out of trouble. It is not to be a hero. Your year's either made or not. I, I want to share this with you. I am beyond happy at my overall performance for my subscriber videos. If I could complete next year like I did this year, X1 trade, 
I'd be the happiest guy there is, and I will find a solution to that one trade. It didn't wipe out my ear, but it was certainly painful. And I learned from it. And uh, we have a lot of artificial intelligence searching for things as to how to change that one event. Uh, for those of you that, that know what happened, I won't even go into it anymore. But every year you get one trade that, that sticks out and hurts you. The goal is how do you stop that and just make it a normal trade? A loss, a normal loss. That is always what you're looking for. Do you run into landmines? Of course, you run into overnight something, event happened, and the market takes off. What trader doesn't run into that in the futures market? It is, uh, if you're a position trader, you have to run into it. So the name of the game is how to contain those. As for the normal catching of trends, the normal hit and run tactics, the normal swing trades in the longer term, this was a very good year. So if you'd like to learn more about what we do, how we do it, you have an array to choose from in our free offering, from the Pivot Point series, to our price counts, which everybody should take and learn about this, to my free research, in other words, a trial to it if you haven't tried it before, twice daily updates where I make my reading intentionally so you can do it in two to three minutes. You heard what I said. That's all you should waste of your time on a newsletter. If the newsletter writer is writing twice a day as I do, they don't have to write a paper each day. They have to write something that gets you right to where you have to be, what's gonna move the markets tomorrow, what reports are coming out, what is the trade looking for, and events you should focus on because something's happening in that event. I do that and I do it in an outline form with paragraphs, bullet points, and I think if you try it, you get hooked on it pretty fast. So how do you get this? Move your cursor to the top. It'll take you to our website or go to irapstein.com. Free offers. Couldn't be any easier than that. I thank all of you that took a look at the dollar index report. We had a lot. It's off the website. It's now history. We'll see if it turns out right or wrong. It should do anywhere as well as we did in the stock index reports in September. I'd be the happy guy. I'm Ira, I'll catch up with you at the end of the day. I may take off a day or so here between now and uh, maybe tomorrow. I'm debating about it, so if you don't see me, it's just that I wanna take a day for myself. I'm not going anywhere. A small holiday, how's that? I'm Ira, you have a good day.